So I've been trying really hard to ignore the news, to focus on our projects, because I realize the news is really just the olds, and it's really just history repeating with new ridiculous distractions peppered into the same old BS. We're probably the only people in a five mile radius that don't have cable at this point. Anyway, I try, but every once in a while, I randomly come across something and I just can't help it. I click and then I regret it. So many of you probably heard, probably well before I did, that Trump is signing a $110 billion arms deal with Saudi Arabia. So I guess they can criticize Iran for terrorism because it fits their regime change narrative for the Middle East, but... When it comes to Saudi Arabia, they'll just all hang out with their crystal ball in front of the fusion center. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't. I mean, look at this. It's like a coven of techno witches meets who wants to be a millionaire. What the hell even is this? I, I don't even know what it is, okay? that The level it's gone to since I stopped paying attention is so far, I don't even know how to describe it to you. I don't know what this is, okay? And the State Department in 2017 is still holding press conferences, even though it's it's so beyond a ridiculous circus that it's some the people who they make stand up at the podium in the State Department press conferences. That's got to be some kind of karmic thing where those people have done really bad things in past lives and now they're being forced to be publicly humiliated in one of the most horrible ways possible because I don't even know why they have people go up in with the State Department press conferences and speak at all. It's just, it doesn't make it better. It's not like it explains anything or answers any actual questions. It just makes everything look like that much more of a ridiculous cartoonish farce. Case in point, let's watch as Stuart Jones, high-level acting official in the State Department, is asked why they criticize Iranian elections, but never Saudi Arabia. Hi, thank you. Uh, well, uh, you were over there. The secretary criticized the conduct of the Iranian elections and Iran's record on democracy. He did so standing next to Saudi officials. How do you characterize Saudi Arabia's commitment to democracy? And does the administration believe that democracy is a buffer or a barrier or, or against extremism? Um, uh, I think what uh, we say is that uh, at this meeting, we were able to uh, make significant progress mm -hmm. with Saudi and GCC partners in uh, both making a strong statement against extremism and also um, and also putting uh, uh, putting in place certain measures through this GCC mechanism where we can combat extremism. Clearly, one source of extremism, one sort, of, one uh, terrorism threat, is coming from Iran. And that's coming from a, a part of the Iranian <laughs> apparatus that is not at all responsive to its electorate. But Saudi Arabia's great. D okay, oh. thank you. Yep. Okay, thank you. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Do you know what just happened in the time it took that guy to answer that question? Water boiled, okay? Paint dried. Another Grand Canyon was carved somewhere in the time that it took that guy to answer that question. There have been a number of really stupid State Department answers in the past. As we've repeatedly said, we're not going to confirm every meeting that takes place. I've said that from the beginning. I know it's frustrating for everyone that we're not going to, but that's where we're going no, to be No, it's not frustrating. I find it entertaining that you're unable to give a straight answer to whether I a meeting took place. I just gave you a straight place. answer. No, you didn't. I'm not going to confirm whether or not it took place. As but you, but no meeting has been canceled? Correct. So that means that all scheduled meetings were going, that were, will go ahead. I have gone ahead. Correct. Okay. And the meeting, there was a meeting scheduled for today Again, in Jericho. I'm not going Is to concern, confirm every specific meeting uh, that we have as part of this process. I just said that 
It's either yes, it has to be one or the other it's because depressing. you said no meetings are being canceled, but you can't say that it took place today? Correct. Yes. So we are not that's... going to confirm from this podium every single meeting or whether meetings happen. Listen, before we leave uh, Syria, I just want to take the opportunity, if you didn't see it, uh, to draw your attention to the Human, right, uh, Human Rights Watch report that was released today that identifies some 27 detention centers uh, that Human Rights Watch says Syrian uh, government intelligence agencies have been using since the Assad crackdown on pro-democracy protesters. So the next time Human Rights Watch comes out with a report that's critical of Israel for its treatment of the Palestinians, I'll assume that you're going to be saying the same thing, correct? That you think that the report is credible, it's based on eyewitness accounts, uh, as and you're not going to say that it's politically motivated and, 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 and should, it should be dismissed? You know, Matt, as, as you have made clear again and again in this room, we are not always consistent. Enough that you could do a greatest hits reel? It said that they had arrested multiple people who were allegedly behind a coup that was backed by the United States. What is your response? Uh, these latest accusations, like all previous ac such accusations, are ludicrous. As a matter of longstanding policy, the United States does not support political transitions. By non-constitutional means, political transitions must be democratic, constitutional, peaceful, and legal. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The U.S. has a long-standing practice of not promoting, what did you say? How long-standing is that? I would, <laughs> in particular, in South and Latin America, that is not a long-standing practice. Well, my point here, Matt, without getting into not history, in is that we do not support, we have no involvement with, and these are ludicrous accusations. Good to see you in this uh, exercise in transparency and democracy. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? But this might actually be the dumbest yet. The only reason it took Stuart Jones, high-level acting official in the State Department, that long to answer that question is because underneath the impromptu smug face and bottle cap glasses, that guy still has enough of a conscience somewhere down in there that he actually had to try and formulate a legitimate answer to the question that wouldn't make him sound like the terrible, lying, hypocrite douchebag that he knows he's going to sound like to that question. That's it. That's all. And even with this, all that time he took to think about it, he still couldn't do it. And then they pulled him off the podium as soon as they possibly could. That's the level that America is at in 2017. I'm glad I don't watch the news, but every time I check back in, it's like it gets 100,000% worse from the last time that I watched it. <laughs> I, I can't even believe this is real life anymore. When I check back in, I have to double check if I'm not watching a sitcom episode or like a Saturday Night Live sketch or something. I, I can't tell the difference anymore.